What's up guys? I'm very excited. Today we're doing the Manhattan. Not just one, but two Manhattans. So this week, thanks to my my cousin James, check him out at Chef Riera. He actually gave me the idea, why not do two cocktails in one video instead of one? So for this drink of the week, we're doing the Manhattan in two different ways. We're gonna do the classic style, and then we're gonna do a variation that's very dear to my heart, one that I really like, the Little Italy, okay? Here's what you'll need right here to make this legendary classic whiskey cocktail. So technically, the Manhattan really only consists of three different parts. It's whiskey, vermouth, and bitters. That's it. That's all you need to make a Manhattan. All right, so we're gonna get right into the classic. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do four dashes of Angostura. All right. Then we're gonna grab our sweet vermouth. Today we're using Vaya. We're gonna use an ounce of the sweet vermouth. All right, just an ounce. And then your rye whiskey. We're gonna use three ounces. I always like to do a three to one part whiskey to vermouth in my Manhattans. All right. There it is, Manhattan's ready to go. We're gonna grab our bar spoon and we're gonna stir it up. And then we're going to strain our cocktail. Manhattan. Nice and clear. Alright, and then as a garnish, traditionally the Manhattan is garnished with a cherry, but here at Jackie Hollow, we do it a little differently. We're going to grab our orange peel, let the match burn a little bit. Heat up the peel and express and drop it in. And that is the classic Manhattan. See, so it's great. Again, that, that rye that we use, we use Rittenhouse, so it's an overproof rye. It has a nice spice to it. And then that smoky essential oil really complements together with it. Of course, the sweet vermouth and the bitters come together to really, really push up that flavor of the rye and complement it as well. Let's get into the Little Italy. All right, so the Little Italy is an interesting one this time. If you have an Italian girl over, you know, you really want to impress her, this is the cocktail to use. So again, instead of Angostura bitters, we're going to be using Chinar, which is an Italian bitter amaro, distilled from artichokes. So it's very, very nice. It gives the Manhattan a nice vegetal quality, so we're gonna start right here. Do half an ounce of the chinar, this tomorrow, for our little Italia. Okay, that's half an ounce. We're gonna grab our sweet vermouth. Remember the same thing, same same basis. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce or 20 mils. So 15 mils of the chin arm, 20 mils of the sweet vermouth, and we're gonna do 60 milliliters or two ounces of our rye whiskey. All right, we're gonna stir again. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to strain. Mm. 
Little Italy. All right. And this one, guys, we are going to garnish with a maraschino cherry because this is like that, that sexy cocktail. You know, you really, really, again, if you guys, if you have that Italian girl over and you really want to impress her, this is a really great cocktail to show her. It smells great. It has a really nice nose to it with a vegetal chinar. Artichoke. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, I really recommend this one. Again, that nice artichoke vegetal quality. The, this Amaro, out of all the Amaros that you know, it's really not that bitter. Not as bitter as, as, as many others. So this one's really nice. It's very subtle. The quality from the artichoke really comes in delicately with the whiskey. It's just a beautiful combination. I definitely recommend it. Very nice, seductive cocktail. All right, guys, so thanks again for watching. This is UMix Cocktails helping you mix better cocktails. Be sure to like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.